This is Lee with Crash Test Hobby showing you how to build the new Pelican aileron wing. The hinge slot is already cut on the wing. Fold the aileron up and flex the wing in order to soften the hinge line. It sh the aileron should move freely up and down. Using a new razor blade, put a straight edge back even with the slot that's already pre-cut and from the top of the wing cut a slit into which you will put the carbon fiber spar. The excess spar should hang out in the middle of the wing. Let's do the other side. Put a mark back the same distance as the pre-cut slot you can see to the left. And using your sharp razor blade, cut a slit and press the carbon spar into place leaving the excess in the middle of the wing. The spars in the center will overlap in order to join the two wing halves together, as seen. This allows you to make a dihedral without adding a lot of weight to the plane. Now do not glue the spars in the pre-cut slot yet, but glue them down the rest of the length of the wing. Because I flipped the wing, it looks like I just did that, but uh, I'm only gluing up to the pre-cut uh, spar slot. Now we're going to install the servos prior to gluing the two wing halves together. You want the servos ahead of the spar so it doesn't interfere with installation and being farther forward helps to keep the center of gravity forward on the plane. I like to use a jig and a soldering iron but it works just as well to trace the servo and use an X-Acto knife. Let's do the other way. I'm making sure the servo is ahead of the spar, but not so far forward that it cuts through the front of the wing. And I'm cutting the hole for the servo. and pulling out excess foam and fit the servo into the slot. Now at this point make sure you bind your radio before you install the servo with the horn on it. You want the, horn, the servo arm pointing the right direction. So bind and center your radio before you do this point. Then put your servo back in with the servo arm pointing up and push the servo extension into the slit. Let's do the other side. We're going to make sure that the servo's arm is on, pointed the right direction. Then we're cutting a slit for the servo wire. And you can see that servo arm is pointed straight up. Then using my finger now, I press the servo wire into the slit. Now glue around the servos with low temperature hot glue. Don't put glue under the servo or you'll never get the servo out if you have to repair or replace it. Let's do the other servo. The servo should be even with the foam. It shouldn't cause any air obstruction as the air flows over it. Then using a 1 16th bit, I drill out the second hole down on the servo arm. The reason I am that far from center is because I don't want the wire hitting the foam uh, in the wing. And then coming in, I install the aileron horns. Using an X-Acto knife, I cut a slit for the horn. It's nice to have the servos towards the center of the wing, especially when we have just foam ailerons, ailerons on these. The advantage is, is it supports the, wing, the aileron more from the center of the plane. Then taking a soldering iron, I punch a hole so the glue can flow up around the horn. and then taking my hot glue gun 
I squeeze glue around the horn and down through the hole as much as possible to glue it firmly into the aileron. And to make it even more secure, I add glue from the other side, going the other direction. Let's do the other one. Force some glue down through the hole and around the horn. Make sure that the leading edge of the horn is even with the slot so that it doesn't hit the main back part of the wing, part of the wing as it moves uh, once the servo is connected. Then drill the top hole in the horn so that you can install your easy connector. As you can see, the easy connector slides through that hole. The snap I put on upside down for strength. And then I put the bolt in place. Then taking wire cutters, I cut the wire to length. Of course you do that on both sides. We're now going to glue the two wire the two wing halves together. But first we need to cut a place for this fuselage to go under the wing. This uh, gives several advantages. First of all, it makes the trailing, of the, edge, the trailing edge of the wing thicker where the rubber bands go over the back of the wing, making it much stronger. And second of all, it makes it so that the ailerons are not hitting the fuselage. I trimmed the corners just for looks. Now let's glue the two wing halves together. I apply glue to the foam only at this point. Press the two wing halves together and with one wing half flat on the table, the top of the other wing is up three and a half inches. This dihedral is important so the plane tracks well. Then after the glue has cooled, I press the spars down into the wing so that they're not poking out and try to fill the slot with this hot glue. This is from the bottom of the wing. Then I'm going to flip the wing over and uh, from the top of the wing do the same thing. Then using my fingernail, I press the servo wires back into place. You can see I've also used a soldering iron to make a small hole for the wires to come out of the wing, which I fill with glue, so that the wires won't pull out of the wing as I take it on and off of the fuselage and connect it to the receiver in the fuselage. We're now going to put nylon braces on the front and the back of the wing to keep the wing from tearing with the rubber bands. I mark the center. Put hot glue on the wing core. Don't put it on the brace or it won't or it will cool before you can get it attached. And then I'll do the front. This adds a lot of strength to the wing. Now turn on your transmitter and receiver and center the trims on your transmitter and tighten your easy connectors on the ailerons so that you have them centered with the airfoil on the wing. It's obvious if you look at the side of the wing where, they are, where the ailerons are supposed to be positioned. Now we want to make sure they're going the right direction. With the transmitter in your hand standing behind the plane, when you push the stick to the right, the right aileron will come up and the left one will go down. We hope you enjoy your Pelican with the aileron wing. Thank you for watching.